Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot. For your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle card readings for June 2024, these readings are for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to have both a money and a love reading today. I have attached a Law of Attraction message in the description box below if you're interested in that. It's a good one, but we are going to start off here with a theme for you presented by the Moonology Manifestation Oracle Card deck. Then we'll get into the money reading. You have the new moon in Leo shine, okay? Sunflowers are symbolic. Or they symbolize synergy, attracting the right people, places, situations. So let us consult the tarot and see what else you need to know. What advice do you have for Libra, please, to attract financial abundance and prosperity? What does Libra need to know about money, please? Okay, four card reading, and then we'll follow that up with another oracle card. You have here the Ace of Wands, the Hierophant. The Nine of Pentacles, I like that for money, the luxury card. This is like almost just building. And you've got the Four of Swords in the advice. The outcome is the Nine of Pentacles, though, which is very solid when you're talking about money. So this Ace of Wands delivers a new opportunity, a new passion. If you've started something new and you've been thinking, you know, I really should try to sell these, just see what happens if it's something like an Etsy shop. Or even, you know, people that do tarot, doing maybe personal readings because they can be hard to come by. Something like that where you say, you know, I really have a passion for this. I wonder if I could monetize it. I feel like somebody here has a great idea. The Ace of Wands is like a magic wand. It, anything new that you begin with this thrives. Wands are about expansion, growth, renewal, that inner power, and they bring an enterprise. So I feel like somebody here has a great idea. If you took another, if you took a job too in the past, this job, I feel like you're going to get a promotion, but there's more money attached. It's not just a meager little promotion where you've accepted more responsibilities for not much money. I feel like you have something substantial showing up here. We have Taurus, we have air, and we have um, fire and earth as well. So this Hierophant energy is very high moral grounds, okay? So anything that you do in regards to money, even if it's a move, it's going to be up front, up, I keep hearing upright, okay? It's something where it's going to be transparent. There's no hidden agenda in a, a real estate or some kind of a purchase. There's nothing fishy going on here. It's the people that you're dealing with in this particular energy are there to get the job done. They're not here to mess around and try to deceive people. That's what the card is saying. And so the Hierophant is also about more training, more skill development. So if you do have some kind of a <clears throat> side hustle that you're looking at evolving and developing, I feel like somebody here is going to be on a quest for more information, getting onto YouTube, perhaps taking an online course or if you are going back to school, it's representative in the cards. That's what this is saying. It's a card of higher learning. Or if you're taking a job to be a teacher of some sort, a professor, something like that, it shows up here. Now, I get a lot of questions from retired people. And I do feel like when that sh this kind of a card shows up, it is about developing your own skill set. So whether it, or or sharing what you have. So even if you're retired, it doesn't mean that you couldn't rejoin the workforce in co some capacity. But this is easy energy. This is not being forced back into the workforce. This is saying, I would like a little more structure. I'd like to maybe just have a little walking around money, that sort of thing. And so with the Nine of Pentacles, you have the luxury card. If you're moving, it's a fantastic card to have this in, in this position because she stands in her own paradise. She stands in a small paradise. It's a card of abundance. It's a card of prosperity and money rolling in. So with this, it is attainment. It is the realization of a goal. And it's also a clarity card. So when you have this, you're going to know what you're looking at. You're going to know what you're doing. There's nothing here where you're in over your head. Okay. She's not in a, you know, it'd be interesting if they had a a card of somebody treading water with their head just bobbing above the surface. I feel like we could we could design a deck together. But with this one, look at how she stands. She's relaxed. She's happy. She knows where she's going. So the outcome of this is very positive. Like I said, if it's a promotion, it is going to involve more money. It's not just for free. So the four swords and the advice 
This helps you get yourself back to center. It's a very important card because it is a card of being calm, of resting, retreating. And so I feel like they're saying too that it's important here to take breaks if you're making gains in your career or if you're moving to get yourself into the place where you have some time for yourself, that it's not all just give, give, give to others. It's a very calm card. It's a card of strength. And it's also too... Um, a, a card of not needing to battle anyone or anything. So it's definitely not pushing against. It's going with the flow and allowing things to unfold. All right, so let's see here. This is from the Fortune or Oracle. You have the card of Dragonfly. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. So both the Hierophant and the Four of Swords are cards that will connect you to spirit. So let's ask now about love in your life, okay? All right. What advice do you have for Libra, please, to attract the love of their lives into their lives, please? What does Libra need to know about love, please? All right, same setup, four card reading with an oracle card. And then we're going to close things out today with a message from Edgar Casey. All right, you've got the tower in the past, the knight of pentacles and the eight of wands in the future here. Your advice is justice, you and your own energy. So I do feel like there's something about having good boundaries and also too, you know, having things meet your terms, your agreement. There's something about this with the tower energy. This tower energy is a quick and sudden change. And it is, for some, it is the end of a relationship. But it's also, too, saying an ending of something that you know you need to take control of. If there's some area of your life, and if it's not a relationship, but some other area of either, the, either finances, where there's been a bit of debt accrued, and you say, I know I need to get this straightened around before I get into any kind of a relationship, or some type of a degree that you're finishing up, or a job change. There's something about this that's very important because it is a turning point. The tower is a breakdown for a breakthrough. So when this shows up, know that it brings in gifts. There's something about this that's just not stable. And so we don't want to try to layer a relationship on top of this because the instability will end up creating rifts and cracks and all kinds of crevices in the relationship that you don't want. So I do feel like with this, the you know after the tower in the order of the cards, is the star its wish fulfillment. So it's like once we really set that boundary and boundaries that don't move around, I feel like you have somebody coming in who brings in commitment. Okay, this Knight of Pentacles, if it's a, an earth sign you're asking about, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, here they are well represented. They're warm, they're loving, they're kind, but they want a future. They're not here to mess around. Now, if they're somebody too that you meet who lives at a distance, I feel like there's a, turn, a, a plan to, to move one of you, okay, with the eight of wands, and it's going to be like once it's decided, it happens fast. I also feel like once you click with this person, the relationship accelerates. This is for the long haul, but it's going to move along quickly once it happens. You have it here, but you also have it with the eight of wands. So when the knight of pentacles shows up, he looks at what he wants, he gets it all lined up, and then he takes off running. So it's not impulsive. This is not somebody who, you know, says I love you in the heat of the moment and then realizes they didn't really mean to say that. And I've known people who have done that before. And man, does that create a juggernaut of problems. Like, oops, <laughs> no oops about that. You said it, you know what I mean? So anyway, with this um, this Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody who means what they say and they say what they mean. They're good by their word. So the Eight of Wands is going to have your heart going pitter-pat. These arrows of love are coming straight at you. So if you're single, you I feel like you're not going to make it through the summer staying single. This Eight of Wands is rhythm and vibration. I feel like, too, I see somebody dancing. If you're into like salsa dancing or something like that, or even if your partner perhaps isn't a great dancer, but they're willing to go along for the ride. I don't know why I kept seeing that, but there's so, there was some vision of this. Either way, with this Eight of Wands, things are going to move forward quickly, but they're going to move forward easily, too, effortlessly. And that is what real love is. It's effortless, okay? It shouldn't be in the beginning, especially it's something that's so challenging and such a struggle, okay? Not with this one. So here we go again with this Justice card. 
it is really, do you like them is the important question here, not whether they like you. It really is all coming down to you and your own energy. So with the Justice card, be true to yourself. It is a card of making choices wisely. And so in a relationship too, you don't settle, not with this one. You have somebody here anyway that isn't settling. It's rising to the occasion. All right, now we'll consult the whispers of love for you, Libra. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So that kindness goes a long way. It's such a beautiful, soft card. And then this is from the Edgar Casey deck. For each entity, each soul is his brother's keeper, okay? Because we're all connected. We're all intertwined. Our energy is linked to one another. And so what I do to you, I do to me ultimately, all right? Good things are on the way for you, Libra. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.